and part five of my bond series, I'm going to show the calculation of the yield and value of a zero coupon bond, which as I explain here, these are bonds that pay no interest during their life. That's why they are called zero coupon. And as a result, they're going to have to sell at a discount from par because the par value is a thousand. So if you're not going to receive any coupon interest payments in the interim right here, then for sure, you wouldn't want to pay any amounts more than what you're going to get at expiration of the bond. And so the value of the bond that we're going to be calculating right here would be below a thousand dollars. That way, if for example, you were to pay 900 bucks, out, uh, out, out front to buy this um, to buy this bond the difference between the amount you pay the nine hundred dollars and the face value of the bond that you're going to be picking up at maturity of a hundred bucks would represent your interest income all right so let's look at this quick example right here it says consider a 12 year zero coupon bond with a yield to maturity of 4.8 percent what's the value so again here's your prompt right here the blue represents the cash flows you expect in this case it's just gonna be a thousand dollars that you're gonna receive at maturity and the red is the maturity of the bond which in this case is 12 years there's not gonna be any semi-annual payments to consider since this is a zero coupon bond and so and it's just gonna be the number of years and R here which is the green is the yield to maturity given to be 4.8 percent and again there's not going to be any semi-annual period to consider since there are no payments that are paid uh, semi-annually so armed with this we calculate the price the present value that is to be 569.72 which as you can see this is a discount uh, value and the difference between this amount which you pay and what you're going to receive at the end of 12 years that difference would represent your implied interest income so to use our calculator which is fairly simple to deal with we clear the screen second clear TVM second clear work and then 1000 is going to be a future value click on it 12 is going to be the number of periods and finally 4.8 is going to be your I over Y, which is the yield to maturity. And then with that, we compute PV. To remove the negative again, click this plus minus key, and that's your final result. You can also, if you want to, do this manually since it's a pretty easy fix right there. Now then, how about the yield on a zero coupon bond? It says here, consider a 12 year zero coupon bond selling for 812 bucks. So discount calculate the yield to maturity now in this problem I have not given explicitly the face value of a thousand dollars and that's why I wrote again here that sometimes the face value of a bond may not be given explicitly in a bond problem in such a, uh, in such a situation um, you should assume it's to be a thousand dollars I don't know what I'm trying to write here uh, I think I want to write in such a case all right so let's do that all right <laughs> in such a case all right let's do that make it look real nice okay so um, so what we're going to do here is to recognize that the cash flows here is just is going to be the phase value again investment period is 12 and no semi-annual payments to consider of course the price of this bond which is the present value to use is eight hundred and two and so with our BA2 plus clear second clear TVM and second clear work so we type in we type them in 1000 is phase value 12 is number of periods and what do we got 812 with a negative is our PV and then we compute I and the result is as is 1.75 percent and I I uh, wrote here for good measure if you want to do this manually well this is a simple single equation and one un and uh, one unknown which is R so you plug in and then you solve for R and you're gonna come up with um, the same result of 1.75 and you can also use Excel although it's an overkill the, uh, this is the function right here as I showed earlier the only difference here is you're gonna make sure that your payment is zero as you see right here so with zero payments everything else in place you're gonna solve it to be 1.75 percent alright and so for your own practice you have this problem that says a five year zero coupon bond has a yield to maturity of 5.3 what's the value so here's your input 
and here's your guide right here, your prompt as to what the input should be. And so you can easily hook it up with your calculator if you want to. And that's it.